Hi, welcome to the section of cardiology. This is Dr. Jaitley. I'm going to be talking to you in this video section about what is echocardiography. Uh, in short form, it's called echo, and echo implying basically sounds as they're reflected back. Now, if you stand on a, say, on a very lonely place in the woods or say on a mountain where there's a reflection of sounds, those sounds get, if you say, high, and then there will be echoes, high, high, high. So those are called echoes. So similarly, here, we use an ultrasound technique. And that ultrasound technique implies that as it goes inside the heart by a transducer placed on the chest, by a small little, if you will, a microphone placed on the chest, it'll reflect from various surfaces of the heart. And as it is reflected back, echo, remember those echoes are being reflected back, they're projected on the screen surface in color as pictures. So for instance, if this is the right ventricle here, that will be reflected like this. So whatever the dimensions are, depending upon how big the dimensions are, it'll be exactly the same way it'll be reflected on the screen. The flow will be represented in terms of color, like Flow going inwards may be blue, and flow going outwards of the heart will be red. Same way here, flowing going inwards will be blue, and outwards will be red, whether it's the left side or the right side of the heart. So it's a very, very simple technique. It takes only a few minutes in a doctor's office. It's normally not requiring any preparation whatsoever. The person comes in, lays on a table, and the microphone or the transducer is rubbed on the chest by the technician or the cardiologist, and the echo pictures are taken in a matter of 10 to 15 minutes. No radiations are involved, so it does not hurt your body. There are no injections involved, and definitely it's better than an x-ray because x-ray at this stage of time and, you know, uh, present uh, uh, environment, we don't even use x-rays. It is So echocardiography is very safe in pregnancy also, and it can help make important decisions um, by the cardiologist or the physician in terms of the diagnosis and or treatment plans. So all of that can be very easily determined by the physician based on this technique alone. Now to compare and contrast with EKG, which is electrocardiography, which I had uh, discussed on a previous presentation in a video clip earlier, Electrocardiography gives you electrical signals originating from the heart. So every beat is represented like a pulse on the EKG. Whereas echocardiography, which is this, that tells you the structure, which is inside structure of the heart, the muscle wall, the chambers, the valves, the dimensions, the contractility, and gives you the idea about the function. Because remember, here, of course, I'm showing you as a still, but if you were to see it on a, on a live video frame, this heart, this area will be contracting and relaxing on an echo, contracting and relaxing on an echo. And uh, so that gives you an idea how good the wall motion is, how good the chamber size is, how good the squeeze of the heart, uh, heart's blood into the aorta is, and uh, how if there is any regurgitation pattern seen at the valves. So all of this information can be obtained very easily based on that 15, 10 to 15 minute uh, test, which is done in a simple setting in a doctor's office. So hope you found int this interesting because obviously echocardiography is a very basic tool or a test that's uh, advised um, based on whatever findings that the physician comes up with and you refer to a cardiologist who does that uh, in, in, the, in the office um, utilizing this technique. So it's a very, very simple technique. It does not hurt and uh, gives a whole dearth of information to the physician. Hope you enjoyed this part and uh, we'll be discussing more and more on echocardiography in subsequent sections. So stay tuned, okay? And uh, keep the interest in cardiology going. All right, see you again. Bye.